Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about physical media collecting, as is evident from what's behind me. <laughs> but talking about some of the little niche things that we do as physical media collectors that probably no one else in any collecting community does besides really physical media collectors. Now, I know there are other collectors who have a similar setup to this. Book collectors have libraries full of books, but little things that we do as physical media collectors are kind of enjoyable, but it's also so over the top. Like I've got physical media cards in my 4K collection. So I've got up here, 4K drama, 4K biopic, 4K sci-fi. Like I've split it up into genres and I've also kind of split it up alphabetically, which is kind of over the top. Some people might say that is so obsessive, but I like the idea that I can access a movie pretty quickly. I can say, okay, I want to watch Fast and Furious. Where would Fast and Furious be? It would be in 4K because I've got the 4K. It would be in action. There it is, Fast and Furious. I can find it within a few seconds. Whereas I haven't organized my uh, DVD portion of my collection because I've only just taken that out of storage. But I am going to organize this in a similar way. And I don't think you can see that. So let's just, uh, let's just unlock this and you can see it. Let's just turn it around real quick. So yeah, you can see the DVD portion of my collection over here. I will go through it and give a full tour at some point. I haven't had a chance to organize it. It's been in storage for a while underneath my TV. But I will start talking about my DVD collection again. And yes, the wrestling DVDs are still behind the door. So you, I've still got them out. I have packed away the VHS portion of the collection. And you know, this here is something that I like talking about. I like to look at, I like to sort of come in and I want to organize so I can say, okay, I want to watch, um, who, who remembers Dinotopia? Oh my gosh, Dinotopia. I remember when this came out and everyone was freaking out, losing their minds. Hey, it's got, uh, what's his name in it? Oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, what's his name from Prison Break? Went with Miller. Yeah, Dinotopia. But you can tell this is the Video Easy one. Look at that, Video Easy. But yeah, I, um, yeah. I found that at, a, um, at CEX a couple of months back and I bought it because I was like, yeah, I want to have something of that. And it's also got that Video Easy logo, which I really like. You know, little movies like that. And because I haven't really maintained my DVD collection in years, this still has a big cash converter sticker on it. And I don't know where I got that from, but I'm guessing it's cash converters. Primary Colors, great movie. Haven't watched it in a while. I might have, in fact, I'm gonna leave this one out. I'm gonna watch that one at some point in the next couple of weeks, cause we're coming up on an election. I will watch that at some point. But you know, there are so many things in this DVD collection that maybe I didn't upgrade to Blu-ray or I didn't upgrade to 4K or might not even have that. So, you know, I will organize this at some point. And that's a little niche thing that physical media collectors do. We organize our media. We also like to justify certain things. Like, obviously, you know, I have a lot of 4K, probably more than I ever need. I mean, yes, I'm not gonna completely neglect streaming. There's stuff on streaming like The Boys that I watched when it was releasing week to week. But, you know, I will still pick up the Blu-rays for that because I like that joy show and I wanna support physical media. So yeah, let's, um, I'm just going to put this sticking out a tiny bit. I'm going to put it over there, but I'm going to leave it sticking out. And that's another thing. That's another thing I do. When I know I'm going to watch a movie later on, I will leave it sticking out a bit. So I'll go like that much. So that way, when I come and look at my collection, I'll glance over my collection. I'll be like, oh, this one's sticking out. Oh, Primary Carols. That's right. I was going to watch it again. So I do little things like that as a physical media collector where I'm just like, yeah, I'm probably going to watch that again at some point. So I'll leave it out a tiny bit from the rest of the collection. So that when I do come in here to watch something, my eyes glance towards that and like instantly connect to it. Scary movie, I need to watch scary movies again. <laughs> great movie, great, uh, uh, what's it called? Great series after, up to number four, when they got rid of Anna Ferris, they should have really ended scary movie overall. And some people might say, but the Waynes brothers, they should have got rid of it after the Waynes brothers. Yes and no. And Anna Ferris was the, um, the heart and soul of scary movies. So I feel like, she, it could still continue with her as, but as soon as they did the one with Charlie Sheen, number five, it, they lost me halfway through that movie. I was like, okay, this one's meh. So yeah, there's even stuff in my collection that I've replaced with Blu-ray that I didn't really like the Blu-ray for. Like, uh, the son of Katie Elder has a Blu-ray release. Now I haven't seen the Blu-ray release outright, but I've seen the transfer that has been online and seen some, so the look of it, um, how the transfer has been done. Kind of looks like an upscale, kind of looks like not the best transfer. 
is it still better than the blue uh the DVD? I don't know, but I'm gonna leave that there until I can make the determination. Which it's up here somewhere, the John Wayne collection. It's over there, the John Wayne collection. But there's certain little things like that, like I'm constantly keeping Blu uh, DVDs around just until I can figure out is the Blu-ray the replacement or is it a is it the side of it? Is it like, okay, you have this and this? Like a lot of people with Lord of the Rings might know that the 4K transfers of Lord of the Rings are not that good. So, I mean, they're great to some people. Some people say Lord of the Rings has looked better than it ever was. And then there's some people who say, oh, they've completely ruined Lord of the Rings by doing this transfer to it. But, you know, there's certain things in Lord of the Rings 4K transfer that might not be in previous versions. That's why I keep things like that around. And also, there's a lot of Australian movies that um, came out on just DVD. I'm like completely off topic, but yeah, we're just going to talk for a while because, you know, this, I don't care about monetization. All the monetization's off on these videos. I've turned them all off. So, yeah, you know, just coming in here and like looking at my media, seeing like, oh, here's a movie I've never watched before. Um, oh, I, can't, I don't know if I can show that on YouTube. Um, so it's called Journey Amongst Women. This was a 1976 movie. I have heard about it. I have seen trailers for it. It looks like a really gritty movie. It's, I think it's actually half based on a true story, actually. But, you know, this isn't seen too much anymore. Like, this is something that is a bit rarer. I don't know if I can show any of that, but definitely the back cover has a bit more. But that's a movie that is R-rated, and it's kind of a bit more gritty, a bit more... Like, it's not something that you might not, it might not get a Blu-ray release, it might not get a whatever release. But that's why I'm kind of getting out the Blu-rays, that's a niche thing I'm doing, I'm trying to organise it, that'll be in the Australian collection. But I'm also, like, down here, I've sort of arranged the, um, the TV series on this side for DVDs. I got the wrestling behind the door again, but it's, I've replaced the VHS, so the VHS is on my TV now in the pull-out drawers. So, I'm constantly rearranging this room. Little niche things I'm doing, like, you know, the category cards, having the box sets at the top. I need to organise the top again, because I feel like we've, I've kind of, um, yeah, you can kind of see up there. I've got stuff in amongst there that isn't really even, like, related. But, I'll figure it out as I go along. And this is the thing, physical media collectors, we're constantly figuring this stuff out. Like, we love collecting, but it's just the thing, we kind of run out of space. But that's where, that's the dilemma, if you will. Um, I feel like I've talked for a while in this video without actually telling you the niche stuff we do. But, yeah. We have, also we have multiple versions, so one thing as me as a collector is I like little things that are cool, like this is a VCD. Look at this little pop-out thing, it has like Harry Potter. But it's a VCT. I've got a couple of VCDs down on the floor here that I just don't have a place for. But you know, it's kind of, um... Gee, I'm... I'm talking a lot because I'm getting very thirsty. <laughs> but you know, it's niche little things that I can't exactly like. Niche little things that I kind of want in the collection. Like, I keep having this moral dilemma of part of me wants to sell my laser disc portion of my collection. And then there's a part of me that's like, yeah, but am I selling it because I just don't have space for it right now? Or am I selling it because I truly am done with the format? And each time I ask, I'm like, I kind of like the part of my collection that is laser discs. It just doesn't fit into my collection right now, so part of me is like, okay, just store it away for like a year or two until I move out of where I currently am, try to get a bigger place, and then I'll be happy with it, you know? It's kind of the moral dilemma of like, am I just done with it for the time being? And then the thing would be, I'll probably recollect it anyway, so I've kind of stopped that whole thing for right now. But, yeah, I'm getting a bit thirsty here, guys, because I'm talking a lot. What's some of the things you do as collectors? Like, tell me in my comments what you do as collectors. Like, what's some of the little niche things you do? Also, back in the day when I started my collection, I used to merge, like, um, things into it. So I used to have an old Blu-ray collection. I'll put in envelopes, like, Jurassic Park 4K up here. I think it has my original Jurassic Park Blu-ray from back in the day in it, because it's one of the first I bought, and... No, this is... Where did it go? It might, might have been Jurassic Park 3, actually. It was one of the Jurassic Parks, and I had the Blu-ray back in the day. And I used to put the discs in it, because I was like, um... I used to just save space. Yeah, Jurassic Park 3. There's Jurassic Park 3 in there. And that's from my original 
Blu-ray collection from back in the day that I threw out all the covers for, and obviously I've done a video on that, I showed the DVD portion of that, but I did the thing, same thing with my original Blu-ray collection. <coughs> but you know, little things like that is little niche things I've done with my collection over the time. Obviously I wouldn't do that same mistake again, throwing away all the covers. But you know what I mean, tell me some niche things you do in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. So yeah, tell me, tell me as a collector what you do. Like, subscribe, and yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Drop a comment if you can, I will read them. I can't respond to everyone, but I will read them. And I'll catch you in the next one.